Welcome back, everyone, to another PC time capsule slash console comparison. I'm John Lineman, and I'm joined by Alex Battaglia to discuss one of our uh, favorite games of this era, Soldier of Fortune. Alex, what do you think? Yeah, this game is really awesome. Um, it's from Raven Software, um, running on id Tech 2 from, you know, Quake 2 fame. But uh, we're playing this on PC. I'll talk about my PC specs in a second here. And you're playing it on Dreamcast, John. That's right. So let's hit start. Here we go. So right away, we get this very different menu system on Dreamcast. But the, one of the different. reasons I wanted to do this is that this is notorious for being one of the worst ports on the Dreamcast. It's hilariously bad. It's so bad um, that, well, you'll see why as soon as we hit start the game. See, oh, that's nice. You can actually insert a name. I can't, <laughs> For I can't do that. It's all right. So let's let's go and hit it then. New game now. So let's. So you're playing on a pretty decent PC, right? What are the specs on that thing? Yeah, this is a Pentium three running at 650 megahertz, running Windows 98 SE, uh, GeForce two MX, which is very appropriate to the time period. Mine has already started, as you can see the initial cutscene. Uh, and then I think 512 megabytes of RAM. Uh, and of course, this is running on a Sound Blaster Live 5.1 with EAX. So maybe you get a little bit of that sound. All right. Here. And I'm running on a Dreamcast with the DC HDMI slash DC digital mod for crisp HDMI output. Uh, but this version of the game, as you can see right away, one of the main problems with it is the loading times. <laughs> yes, this is uh, taking quite a bit of time there, John. It is taking quite some time, and I think once it loads, perhaps uh, you could actually just restart yours, and we can get a direct comparison even, <laughs> because I'd like to see how this lines up, but I, I don't think we can do it. It's just, I can hear the Dreamcast laser over there just slamming away. It's oh trying. It's trying. Yeah, the... Um... The loading times on PC, they're not perfect. I would say it doesn't definitely doesn't load as quickly as something like Quake 2, uh, for sure. Oh, here we go. This is Dreamcast loading times. <laughs> We're in. We're in. So, I would say uh, first impressions aren't that bad visually. Here. No. Uh, let, before we continue, let me, let me just note that the developer of this Dreamcast version was done by a company called RuneCraft. True. which apparently existed between 1997 and 2003. And under their belt is mostly ports to other consoles, but they have stuff like Caesar's Palace 2, Caesar's Palace 2000, uh, Barbie Super Sports, Y2K The Game, Barbie Race and Ride. So only the best turn of the yes, century exactly. games is what you're And saying. then, of course, they have, well, <laughs> this. I think one of their last games was uh, Bud Ugly Martian's Zoom or Doom. Oh, dare I sing this theme song to that, John? Oh, dare I? Yeah. Oh, please don't, no. <laughs> oh, wait, they did two Bud Ugly Martians games, so... We are the Martians, the Bud Ugly Martians. We are the Martians, the Bud Ugly Martians. But, okay, so you're you're already in there shooting around. We have this Dreamcast version here. He's gonna He's about, he's about to run in there, and... Well, you're loading again. I, so that's a this is difference one. So on the PC, oh the opening cutscene is actually uh, part of the same map, the first stage. Whereas on Dreamcast, it's 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 a, it's a separate map, and now it has to load into the first gameplay map. So once this thing loads, then we'll, we'll get to some comparisons. But how? This is just absurd. Look I at this. I, I mean, for example, I can I'm gonna keep going on. I think uh, just to. Hammer Why don't you the go point home? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> and you can come back and we'll compare some stuff. Yep, there he kicks in the I like how he kicks the door down there. That's a pretty neat touch actually. Yeah, we'll have to talk about some of the tech in here. I think some one of the game's high points at least is the first person character uh, animations because, you know, like you equip a weapon and there's always like a really awesome equip animation. <laughs> uh which I'm always a big fan of like that. Like what's the point of throwing uh, the shotgun oh, up in the it's air? It's so and, cool. Isn't there a effect. dedicated button for flipping the shotgun? Yeah, there is. Yeah. For the purpose yeah. of, you know, because you can. <laughs> I mean, so those are always I really, great things. I, I wish I could join you in playing the game, to be honest. Oh, that would be so much fun. But, but it's, still, it's still loading. You're playing on Dreamcast. That that thing's the power of 1999. Uh, 
so let me talk a bit about the graphical settings while we're still waiting here. I'm uh, almost I, there. I'm playing at 640 by 480, 16 bit color, uh, detail textures up to like the midway point, and everything else on high. I, I didn't want to go uh, higher uh, because, for example, 32 bit color I found uh, even lags at 640 by 480 uh, in areas where it doesn't in 16 bit. <gasps> Alex. It, it, oh, oh my goodness, you're it. Why don't, you, why don't you keep talking while you make your way back? Oh, you are back there. Okay. I, I just so. moved all the way back. Um, so there we go. Is, so you are in 16-bit color. The Dreamcast version is also in 16-bit. Mm -hmm. uh, first glance, I mean, similar. Not, it's actually not bad. Uh, yeah. I think if we go down the steps, though, we start to see. Okay, let me take out this dude down here, um, and then back up into this corner here, and we can take a nice look at this room. And I think we start to see some of some of the little differences mm -hmm. they basically called away some of the objects like the the walls there less yeah. complex uh the floor they don't have those extra floor great textures down there that is interesting that they would go in and manually touch up those things but you know at this point in time it, memory was a concern definitely yeah, exactly. on the, the dreamcast right yep. um so that could explain one reason why they're doing it i so don't think it was a geometry concern uh, no i think it's more just memory oh look at this they simplified this part Oh, wow. That's actually quite a bit different. I didn't expect that at so all. So look at that. So on the PC, you actually get those little archways. But here, that's just a flat wall. I mean, I don't actually dislike the way it looks on uh, Dreamcat necessarily. No, it works, but it works either it, you know, way. Like that extra geo complexity here is pretty nice, actually. I agree. So one thing I love so, about this game actually is the amount of environmental act interactivity like there's no reason for this to be a thing that you need to do. But like they allow you to just like shoot the bin. Oh, so. well, it just explodes in the Dreamcast. See, like for mine, unless I have to do an oh, the gumball amount of damage to do now. it. Um, so, like mine def definitely does not do that unless I have to do an obscene amount of damage to it. Uh, let's see. So this this there game was okay. known for its gore, though, wasn't it? That's yeah, kind of one of its. It's a I, bit heavy. I turned up the gore <laughs> on mine. Uh, originally, the parental controls were locking me out to like uh, change that up. But okay, so let's continue down this hallway here. Mm-hmm. Got my shotgun back out. So we yes. got more uh, hostage situations. Um, what, how's it look? Wait, where are you? I'm, I'm, I went a little bit further ahead than you down this okay, hallway. Okay, you're, you're down here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, like, here's another room just full of environmental interactivity. Like, it's uh, actually pretty similar. Yeah, except for mine has, like, uh, flashing oh, no, here. The, the textures aren't animated on Dreamcast, they're just completely static. Look at that. Oh, I was what? getting shot. Oh, the Should guys came in from behind you. Yeah, <laughs> take care of them. Um, go ahead. There you go. Mine's going to yell at me. Yeah, like they break down the door and flip flip out, go crazy. Oh, look at these, these shells just floating. Hmm. <laughs> That's uh, so, high fidelity. I, um, I, you know, so it seems like they were they were making some of the right cuts. Hey, the trash can lid actually worked there. That's cool. That's cool. Now it blew up. So the cuts they've made, I think, actually do make sense. Mm -hmm. um, I'd agree for the most part, you know, like it's what you uh, would expect given the platform. Uh, it doesn't, it seems to be missing some of the, the baked lighting though. Like the light maps, like, look at that. Yeah. Like I, I think it's because for you, the TV, the TV, the TV is, is set to be like a light. Essentially. Yeah. So you can destroy it on PC. Um, and then it, oh, it turns off. So it turns they would have had to store data with and without the light map, I guess. So the light maps like extra. Yep. Memory. And <laughs> like for required. these, like when, when you shoot them down, they like move down in a really kind of chunky animation. Okay. It does the same on here. Look at that. Not bad yeah. at all, actually. But it has no light map. So let's continue <laughs> on down the hall, though. Um. So down here. Okay. So first of all, there's this restroom area down here, I think. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. The guy. Oof. Is there a yeah, lean button edgy. on yours? What's that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. How edgy. He was just urinating on the wall. Um, is there a lean button on the Dreamcast? No. Like, so the Dreamcast controller is rather limited, right? You have one analog stick, four face buttons, two triggers, and then a D-pad plus a start button. So <laughs> essentially you look around with the, sorry, the only analog stick and you move with the face button. So, you know, if, if, you're, if you're not familiar with the Dreamcast era, that's how you had to play these shooters, right? Because there is oh no second gosh. analog stick. So it's moving with the face buttons, which only leaves you with two instant action buttons, which means the right trigger is used for firing your weapon. 
The left trigger, I don't actually know what it does. It's not doing anything right now. I have to assume it's the alternate fire, which allows you to Possibly. zoom and things like that. So wait, one thing I want you to go back into the bathroom and check out is um, we noticed some differences earlier when we were looking through this. The uh, mirror? Like the mirror, yeah. Oh. So this is not... Okay, the- it doesn't seem to be standard id tech uh no too. it's not and it's not on dreamcast as you see yeah yeah so like they have this layer. like specular shiny layer it's basically like an environmental map that's a super uh low resolution we also saw picture. this in in kingpin life of crime this stock sound effects they're so good that, by the way did you notice you have whoa, that's the carla yeah. nescar breaking noise uh you actually have um oh that works uh detail textures on pc if you walk up to this here yeah, yeah. They implemented that on Quake 2 engine, which is pretty cool. You don't get it on the Dreamcast. It does look pretty different, actually, when you get up close. And uh, another thing that we found out earlier, when you uh, maybe we can look at one of the um, the vending machine textures outside because it shows it off pretty well, actually, is the um, maybe you could talk a bit about this, just like the difference, not necessarily in resolution of the textures, but just the way they look. Uh, so there's going to be a difference here because so Dreamcast has a lossy a uh, texture compression scheme called v- VQ texture compression, mm-hmm. which is actually a very smart texture compression scheme that's efficient and well-suited to a platform with low memory like Dreamcast. And it was something developed for the power VR chip in the system. But as a result of this, it does sometimes cause some visible artifacts in the textures itself that look different from other schemes used on the pc at the time yeah for sure it looks you'll see it, it more noticeably a, a bit later in this game but <laughs> oh, yeah we will uh but like here i think it looks fine it actually kind of gives the game a kind of quake one level of grunge that i yeah. like on the dreamcast it's, it's quite a bit totally there. fine yeah and yeah these textures were converted of course for dreamcast versus uh you know Ones dreamcast games arted up specifically for the hardware so, oh, yeah. Okay. So there's hostages it. in this game that you should try not accidentally kill. That's right. I think there's actually you get in trouble if you kill them, which is how it should be, I suppose. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. the frame rate is really starting to tank here on the Dreamcast version. Oh, yeah. So let me get up to where you are. So uh, uh, mine also do- goes down right here, too. Uh, so so you have double This area is heavy. Uh, this area is heavy, and I think it's a CPU-related limitation on my end. I don't think it's necessarily the GeForce 2 MX having issues. Um, or maybe it is actually. Uh, I can't exactly double test, uh, check that so, at the moment. Now here's here's an awkward thing. So I have to get into this window by jumping and ducking through right. So on Dreamcast, first you press the left button on the D-pad, and then you hold down on the D-pad to crouch. So it's <laughs> That's left not that to game. jump, and then down to crouch. So it's a little awkward, to say the least. The controls on PC up. are actually pretty awesome. I mean, it's based on id tech, I mean, so like you would the expect, defaults are, right? and it actually defaults WASD as well. Just yeah. kind of. Oh, whoops! I just shot a hostage because he looked like a bad guy. You know, what can I say? Oh gosh, the gore so, is insane. The, so I open that door now. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go back and that. But. I can get out. So let's. There's gonna be some more combat out here. Let's do that. Love okay. those. So, tell me when you're back at the gate here, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll exit together. At the gates? Yeah, right, right there. there. Yeah. So, you walk on through it, and as you can mm-hmm. see, the level continues, right? Yep. Great. Uh, and you've this was all part of the opening cutscene. Well, here in Dreamcast, you walk through it, fades to black, and loading screen! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, you know, I thought this game's loading screen was always cool with like the magazine and the the bullets going being added to it. But if I had to see it as often and for as long as I had to see it on the Dreamcast, I would probably hate it instead of think it's a novelty. Exactly. It's, like, it's so long that let's just go ahead and skip ahead and get to the next section. <laughs> All right, so here we are. We're back after that very long loading screen. Um mm-hmm. so one thing you're talking about here is actually so this pistol. It's another thing that has that specular texture. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to see in some of these spots. On Dreamcast, it is not present. It is a completely matte-looking texture. Mm -hmm. Like here, So again, it's just an extra texture layer that it makes sense to to save memory on, right? So like the detail textures, the specular texture layer, none of those are present on Dreamcast. Also, what's with the angle of your pistol? It's different as well. So like there's, once again, there's these alternate 
uh, kind of things you can do. Like I think the default keys are like uh, like the numpad key and maybe a star, but I changed oh. them so that they're they're just the um, scroll wheel instead of. All right, weapons. so let's continue through here then. So I can constantly be for some reason I don't know if it increases accuracy or anything like that. Probably not. Uh, but geez, the uh, I love the sound effects when you shoot dudes in this game. Did you notice, by the way, that on Dreamcast here, the frame rate is completely uncapped, right? So yeah. In sections like this, it's it actually jumps up to around 60 FPS. Oh, jeez, mine. Uh, uh, but then it drops hard like a stone. Yeah, my frame yeah. rate is also, I'm going to say, like, a Pentium 3 at 650 megahertz is not the fastest um, that probably could have been used for this test. I'm kind of limited by my motherboard's. Uh, 100 uh, megahertz. I mean, SSD. what was available when this came out? Because I feel uh, like I was playing on a 733. You would have time. been playing on a Pentium 3 at that time. It's, you know, um, this is a, what is this, a 2000 release? I think it's like May, if I recall. And that is still Pentium 3 era. Uh, we're just getting into the, um, like, copper mine. It's already launched in 1999. And, oh, I'm probably going to die if the train hits me. So I'm going to save right here. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot save. Uh, yeah. Oh, geez. Yeah. Let's uh, make sure you don't die. So, because like, I think the level starts over from from the very beginning. Otherwise, no, no, not on Dreamcast. Okay. It starts from the last load screen. <laughs> oh, it starts from the last load. That actually doesn't make sense. That would you know? that would be a nightmare if it started the whole level. Oh over, my gosh. The amount of loading and waiting time is just absurd in this version. Mm. Honestly, it's so bad that you just have to wonder like. Like, why? Like, why would you sell this? This is not good. It's they had to make money somewhere, John. Like, I see what they were trying to do, and I feel like they, they kind of got there in terms of the actual, like, visual presentation. Like, it's not the smoothest, but it's fine. It's mm -hmm. playable. But it's just, with these loading times, it kind of ruins the entire pacing of the game. Oh my gosh, I almost killed this civilian. Uh, and so by the way, for... what. Well, once we've had our fill of this, we're going to switch over to PlayStation 2. Oh, yeah. See if it's any different. Okay, so I do have that version as well. Try and not get hit by any train cars. My goodness. By the way, is there, do you have like a fog effect in there? Uh, there is definitely a uh, distance Look back fog. away from the train. Yeah. Go back out in there. Yeah, see, look. It's not. So that is not in the Dreamcast version. You can actually see all the way down the. But that the has, train just tracks. has to be. That just has to be hardware fog, right? Like, that's like. It looks That's, like old school hardware fog, yeah. Yeah, like I, I don't, I don't think it's anything cool like the Unreal style no. fog. Oh no! Oh, these cutscenes. Another lo loading screen. <laughs> right at the end. Yeah. Oh. I mean, this is a big area, and my Pentium Three is just like, kill me now. Um, like, yes, I could have probably played this on a slightly better PC, uh, but this is what I got for this. At least so for this is load day. screen number four for stage one. Oh my god. Right. So you had the opening cutscene, you had the first part of the map, the second part of the map, this is now the third part. So that's actually four loading screens up to this point. Each loading screen is very, very long. I oh my mean, gosh. You see what I mean? This is not playable, I would say, like no, in that sense. Like it's not fun because of how long you're waiting between every section. You're essentially getting about like two to three minutes of real gameplay if you're just moving out at like a normal space, the uh, pace, and then all of a sudden you're loading again. I honestly think like nowadays, like this style of port. I mean, they they had did it with what probably what they had to work with at the time, but this would not at all fly today. These these differences are huge. Um, almost reminds me of like some of the problems with the like Doom ports back in the day, <laughs> like generically, like this breaks up the. The gameplay way too much. I mean, this is better. This is sorry. This is worse than those Doom ports because they didn't suffer from loading like this. <laughs> okay, so it's better. Okay, cool. So um, this is this is much worse. I love this how is like... just terrible. Okay, so now we're able to continue here. Um, the frame rate is actually not very smooth at the moment. No, it does not look like that at all. After I got rid of the AI here, though, it does run quite a bit better. So I definitely think it is CPU limitations because, yeah. you know, these are um, skinned uh, character models. Uh, they are going to be animating by deforming the geometry. Oh, no. I almost shot the, the good guy. <laughs> you oh, almost did. Get him. Uh, but that's like a perfect lineup there. So, like, okay. here we go. Wait. Oh, yeah. Like, am I supposed to kill the baddies? No, don't don't touch anything. This is it. They're they're like under arrest. Of course they are, and that would be go that would go against the soldier of fortune code. Yeah. Or, or okay, so let's, 
So uh, if we look out over here again, you have that hardware fog. Which, I don't know. I mean, I think it looks look fine. the red I'm... artifact and the texture. Oh, yeah, right? Oh, God. It's really interesting. I mean, I, I mean, don't... It's, think it's it fine looks... without it. I think it actually looks kind of better without the hardware fog. It's like really weirdly foggy go, go, go. all of a sudden. Um, going yeah, you're out right. Here. That, that's not the best, is it? Yeah, I mean... I'm... Oh, this doesn't is... actually makes sense either. I mean, okay, so we have to think about back in the time about uh, just in general. So about... check, check this out, Alex, real quick. I can't so see shit. The boss is actually standing up here waiting to... But because there's no fog, he's just there, but you can't do anything with him. <laughs> right? So I can shoot at him, but it does nothing. But as soon as I go down here, he's going to activate and run. He's oh meant to activate gosh. when you see him through the fog. So that they didn't take that into account when they removed it. Oh my gosh. And it's kind of broken. Like, so. I guess the fog here is actually the thing that makes the scene work at all on PC. Wow, the frame rate is. It's so low on Dreamcast. My wow, goodness. Wow, what's going on, man? This is so low. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, wow, it actually loaded into a cutscene without having to load a separate map. Well done, well Simon, done Garfunkel. Simon Garfunkel. <laughs> Simon Garfunkel. Uh, friendly enemies so, killed. Oh my gosh. Friends. Once again, with the ill behavior, back to the loading screen. I got a lot more cash than you, John. We skipped ahead <laughs> so I can get to the drink. So essentially on PC, it can play that entire cutscene before the Dreamcast loads the cutscene. <laughs> yes. But let's, let's actually compare it here real quick because there is some <laughs> interesting things to see. Yes. So first of all, you know, the cutscene itself looks pretty cheesy, I have to admit, right? But for Quake Engine, I think it is kind of neat that they're attempting to do this whole sort of like heist scenario mm -hmm. where they're breaking into a facility, you know, going them through the walls. And then it's it's ambitious for the platform or for the engine, I'd say. We oh, don't see too many cutscenes like this. No, I would definitely say it is as well, too. Uh, another thing that's really cool to look at is here on the PC version. Oh, look at this. So, yeah, there's that specular layer on the floor there. I mean, it looks a little weird, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> um, but for the time, it was pretty cool, you know. Uh, you would see, I think, a similar effect in Daikatana as well. I don't know if that's different, yeah. though. Um, here. It might actually make sense to have not had that effect, like, it looks maybe more visually okay without it. Yeah. But it is kind of fun to see. But here we go. Back to loading. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't want to make you guys have to sit through this again. So let's let's just cut it and get back to it once we're loaded into the stage. Because this is, yeah. Okay, Music. so now we're actually here in the level again. And by the way, look at the clouds here. I think this has to, well, we'll see him again in, in just yeah. a moment. Let me, let me actually skip ahead. I'll hit start here. Long pause. Yeah. So... Just look up a little bit, Alex. I think this is an unintentional side effect of the texture compression scheme on Dreamcast. Yeah. The textures really did not convert correctly mm -hmm. uh, or something. The, the way they displayed, there's like flickering. There's those weird rainbowy red artifacts in it. It just looks incorrect, right? Yeah. So here, like this is what, like one area where I think if I were playing in 32-bit, it would actually look quite a bit better. It, um, it absolutely does. Yeah, so, I remember that specifically from back in the day. <laughs> so one thing to think about always is, you know, 32-bit uh, really affects uh, transparencies uh, quite a lot. Uh, and another thing is that, like, there's a bunch of banding that I cannot necessarily see so much when I'm playing this. Because both John and okay, I, uh, I think, John, are you playing on a CRT? I'm not sure, actually. No, I'm using the HDMI mod. So I'm Okay. Oh, that's right. Part. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, the animation there is kind of awesome. So oh my God. I, I have to admit, though, this stage I always liked back in the day. I thought it was pretty cool and ambitious to have like a full stage on a train like this. It's a bit like the, um, the blood level that takes place on a train. I'll or, uh, dare I say, Uncharted? the rather impressive Shadows of the Empire. Uh, that's animation. awesome. Okay, so one thing that's really cool here is I'm pretty sure that the texture on the ground looks stretched on purpose to make it look like it's like motion blurring really so quickly. I, that's, yes, exactly. That's what they're doing. I love that technique. Oh my god, it actually looks really cool. It looks way higher frame rate than 60 as a result. Uh, I'm going to go up here too. So I just destroyed those boxes. Yeah, so like in 16-bit okay, yeah. here, like there's like a bunch of dither that I'm just not seeing. But the one thing I do notice is the 
like the kind of lack of color at the horizon it just looks kind of yeah weirdly brown in my opinion but i don't know what that's about okay i'll like so in the these guys except violent am i going here yes okay but i should not have gone in here oh my goodness oh i got us and another weapon apparently Ooh, gotta go that outside. was choppy Oh, which weapon did you get? Did you get the SMG? It's like a, it's like a, it's a rifle. Oh, the rifle. Oh, yeah, that's that's the... So that's what you can use the secondary shot for. Try left trigger then. Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay. I'm supposed to be able to hit this thing? I can't tell if I'm doing anything. Dude, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, Can you even hit the helicopter on the Dreamcast like no. controller? Like, There's no way they designed it around that. <laughs> Oh my god! This gosh. is terrible, dude. Is that what... oh See, like gosh. this is fine enough. I'm I'm very grateful that I'm playing on this uh, lower difficulty setting because this should be able to break, right? Oh yeah, the frame rate is just tanking here. This is not good. Wow! Just, oh my it's... gosh! I, I'm having a hard time. So like, okay. Games of this era are great, but sometimes, depending upon what you're shooting at, and if there isn't, like, a very obvious damage animation, like, here I'm shooting the helicopter. I can barely tell yeah. if I'm doing anything to it. Like, what's the point? I know, that's the problem. I, I don't know if it's actually doing anything. <laughs> it's not obvious. <laughs> oh, yeah. One thing that to also no, mention. No. Oh, John. Oh, no. Um, I am oh, using trilinear filtering here, so I actually don't know what... Uh, what is being done on the Dreamcast? We haven't taken a look at that yet. Is it actually? Oh, using it's, like... it's bilinear. Oh, it is. Okay. It's definitely not trilinear. Yeah. There's obvious map bands. Oh, that you know, that's one thing that's different, John. Is uh, I get muzzle flashes that change the lighting. Oh slightly. yeah, you don't get that on the Dreamcast. Oh my gosh, I, I do wonder like what was like, what was the purpose of the port if it's missing all these? I mean, it gets the gameplay across, I guess. But like, kind of, it is kind of, kind of, it's super compromised. Oh, uh, you just got the snipes. Wait, what am I supposed to do up here? The I Wesley forget. snipes. Yeah, uh, that's a good point. So I'm, I'm standing. Oh, the helicopter just fell out of the sky and through the ground. Did it die of oh, lonely hearts? There it went again. <laughs> oh no! I think this, the helicopter's stuck in a loop. It's broken. Let's see if it does it again. Yep. Look at there it goes. I guess. Watch my good. screen. Look at this. Just a second, it's gonna happen. Whoop! <laughs> so I think I just found a glitch. <laughs> I may not be able to complete this section. The helicopter is stuck in an infinite loop. I died. Ah, uh, uh, John, dare we? <laughs> perhaps we uh, dive into the PlayStation, PlayStation Two, 2 version. version. Just Let's fun. do that for fun. Because we've established. I think the takeaway here is the Dreamcast version. Feels almost competent, but it runs very, very inconsistently, and the oh. loading times are unacceptably long. And apparently, it's rather buggy and not able to be completed smoothly. So, no, it is oh, not. There is that helicopter. So, <laughs> I give this port an F minus. <laughs> yeah. Just look at this. Between the clouds breaking and the helicopter just falling through the ground. Look at that. What is going on? This is insane. <laughs> I I don't know if PlayStation's gonna be able to match this, to be honest. This I don't is just think too so. this I is incredible. That's gonna be look at that. There it goes. Oh, there you goes can see again. it happen from way up there. Yeah, gosh. Oh man, this the reminds clouds. Me. Oh, there it comes. Woo. Is it slowing down? It feels like it's slowing down a bit. Is that just my opinion? No, it does it is slowing down. I think it is. Let's see. Here it comes. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, it's yep. One. Okay. I'm going to count it this time. This is so one, weird, dude. Two, three, four. <laughs> okay, folks. I think that's all. Let's see how it looks on PS2. All right, Alex, we're back. And this time we have the PlayStation 2 version here, mm -hmm. uh, which I haven't played in a long time. And I was very curious to see if it's as bad as the Dreamcast one. I mean, the menu already looks better, honestly. It does. Let's just go to... F Wait, there's custom difficulty? Interesting. Aww. Look at that. It's from the PC version, then. Yeah. So they actually let you do all that. So that's an so we'll just do effortless. Okay. <laughs> effortless means... Because why not? Okay, start game. We'll see what we got. So 
the loading can't be too short because it is still loading from a disc, Whoa. right? What is this? <laughs> it's like through a sniper scope. I guess that's reminiscent of the Soldier of Fortune 2 uh, like cover of the game. Oh, yeah. It isn't right. very much so, or maybe even just the SOF 1 oh, cover. It's loaded. That's actually not bad. It's much faster, at least. It looks interesting. Does it look like it has it's no like, mip maps? Or oh, it doesn't have it does not have mip maps. That's because that PS2 doesn't have automatic mip maps. If you want mip maps, you have to implement it yourself. So that that already makes the game look like I was just looking at the differences of feeds. Like it looks super sharp. <laughs> it does look really sharp that way, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, so. I mean, what's going on on the texture there? Is that like a detail texture layer they tried to do? I mean, we'll we'll have to take a look at this because I'm very curious because I don't think it's doing some stuff that it doesn't look like the Dreamcast was doing, and honestly, some stuff looks different than PC. It's very weird to see there. I, there's not that many Quake Two engine games on PlayStation Two, and this, it's not like the engine is that well suited to the PS2. No, it was designed around uh, PC, so like, oh yeah. So. But it is interesting to see it. So let's see. Okay. So. Oh, look at that. A safe game. It didn't. It didn't have to load a separate map. <laughs> it's like it's just like the PC version. I kind of like okay. the lack of map map look here. Actually, it kind of works for this game, doesn't it? I mean, well, I kind of prefer it to what I'm looking at. Like right here, this is just tri trilinear. Um, uh oh. So the, we. Th the I don't know it's if it's the cat. Backwards, dang it. Oh, it's inverted. It's Alex styled uh, controls it's right now. It's Alex style. I can't, I can't do that. Wait a minute. Look at this. Analog keyboard <laughs> and mouse. I mean, dude, if you could, that would have been so cool. That's actually really dang, awesome. I I, so I didn't know it supported that. So one thing I want to point out is I, I feel like the PS2 version is a little around, bit look at, brighter. It is much brighter. You know? Yeah. Like, okay. So like the wall here. It doesn't look like the detail textures are there. No, it's not. It's something else. Yeah, it is, but it doesn't look like the the, the Dreamcast version. Necessarily. No, it's different. Let's continue down here. So we got this guy. Oh, I'm, I'm on easy, like the effortless mode. So it actually has like an auto aim thing. Okay, so look, first of all, let's look here. And it looks like they restored the missing features. Yeah, they did, actually. So the, the extra wall stuff is there, and it has these grates in the floor, which are actually see-through. Mm -hmm. Okay, they are on PC as well. Okay. So it's just on Dreamcast they took that out for some reason. Yeah, but for, okay. like, on your end, though, like, when you look down there, like, it's, like, yeah, it's like whitish colored, but for me, it's, like, oh, really yeah, dark. There's... That's weird. That is weird. Oh, this, this auto aim is bizarre, dude. It's like it's actually like a lock on. Oh, is it like Did a Z? It off? Like a Z lock? It just, yeah, it just like locks on. Uh, controller. Uh, analog stick. I think that's just has to do with the difficulty setting. Okay. Actually. Um. So, question. Auto aim. There it is. Well, concentrate. Oh wow, there's a bunch. Vertical of auto -aim only options. auto aim. Is it like playing this Doom? Like, what is that like? Whoa. Yeah, you just threw a flash thing. It's like one of the... Oh, look, on the map here. You're getting the sweet specular layer. So they have the specular layer. Honestly, that's pretty cool for PS2. I do like that. Not like so the first let's... time you've ever seen that on PS2. Oh. But... No, no, but still. The only thing weird is that it's a game without V-Sync, so there's tearing. Oh, it's like there's so no V-Sync at all? No, it's like adaptive V-Sync, I think. Oh, wow. So it's like up to 60, but... Un unlocked so it's kind of like weird looking in motion it's not it's, it's not that smooth it's like scrolling weirdly as a result yeah so Oops, in this like, room you do get like the animated screens um yep. that looks normal you're not getting the different texture compression you have the light there yeah, on in the corner where like, there's the light on the, the corner yep and but it doesn't go off when you shoot it look oh interesting okay so wait a minute do you get the um the muzzle flashes from the shotgun I don't think so. Nope. No. No muzzle flash. Yeah, no. The the oh. muzzle flash so they is don't... pretty cool. That's weird. So no muzzle flash then. Okay. So they're using so like what seems to be similar size textures, no detail maps, specular layer, the guy peeing. Yep. <laughs> the guy The peeing. map itself is like larger than Dreamcast, like because this opening cutscene is not split. No, it is not. 
Oh man, this game's kind of awesome. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just enjoying the leading around corners. Uh, lean. Okay, you know, let's look at these mirrors then. Yeah, the mirror has the specular. Like we we barely touched on the gameplay, but obviously the game is known for its intense gore. Let me just. Sorry, censor this, John, if you need to. My goodness, but um, oh yeah, too hot for YouTube. <laughs> it's too hot for YouTube. Um, but that's you know that's what the game was known for. It is kind of absurd how much you can dismember uh, the enemies. Yeah. Okay, I'm curious now to see if there is more if if it's actually the full map or if this has those load screens halfway through. Yeah, right. Like if it is the full thing, I mean, what the PS2 total is 32, right? Yeah, with everything. With everything. 32 megs. I mean. It could theoretically probably fit inside, I would imagine. And I guess they could load some stuff from the disc, but we'll find out here in a moment. So, okay, I can jump with that. Oh, I can jump and crouch much more easily in this version. That's good. The power of the PS2. Yeah, it still runs like doo-doo here on PC, though. I mean, this is not triple buffered, so I actually don't know the real performance. Um, but... Did not have a triple buffering option in the menu. I know in Tech 3 games do tend to have it. Their shadows are weird. They're like weird blob shadows that move with them in a strange way. Really? Let me take a look at that, actually. I'm being ambushed here first. So they do have... Uh, so on PC, they do have uh, shadows that follow them around, like underneath them. It's a little bit hard to see here, but yeah. They do actually have shadows that match up with... Okay, the so here we go. Moment of truth. Oh! They, they split it they did they had to split it oh wait i gotta go to where you are the loading screen is so trippy it's like very of the era <laughs> to say the least so i'm curious to see how as we make our way through this level if it's actually like how many pieces it's, okay wow okay that was actually pretty fast that's not bad honestly that's like so the loading like time is level, fast right? enough and so far we only have one one split it's a lot more reasonable. Yeah, this game is so violent. Oh my god. Yeah, it was at the time. <laughs> so it's, thus far, this does feel like it's a little more true to the PC version. It totally is. Overall. I mean, just the fact that you can lean. I don't know if you've tried it out yet on the controller, but the lean is. Let's try it. It seems like they probably designed areas around the fact that you can yeah, lean around the corner. Yeah, see that? Look at that. I can totally, I can totally lean. It's actually analog lean. Oh wow! Look at that. See, on PC, it's, like, it's weird. Like, it's digital lean, but then you can, like, turn. You can pivot while leaning. It doesn't make any sense, actually. Uh, but it's the way it is. It's kind of cool. So it does feel like they... It feels like more effort was put into this specific port then How, to do something with it. How's the performance been holding up in those scenes, like, when there's, like, a lot of... Oh, uh, it's, it's kind of unstable, to be honest. It's not horrible. It hasn't dipped as low as Dreamcast, but... Are you getting hardware also fog the, there? There is fog. The, it's different looking though. Yeah, it is. But there is definitely fog. So like mine's like orangish and yours is, I actually prefer oh, yeah. the reddish color of your fog there. It's very like, I don't know. So they do have. It's nice looking. It's inter. Wow. Okay. So this, she has like the, the red light map there with the shadow from that. That's cool. Yeah. So I'll go in here. So, okay. so my yeah, I mean, so the fog being there actually does make sense knowing what we know now about this specific spot with the way they show the boss later i'll have to i'm curious about this mouse and keyboard stuff though i'll have to dig out a mouse and keyboard that the ps2 can Check use it out, see it how should it just works. be usb but that's kind of rad that they did that oh so okay look no no loading time there yeah 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 on dreamcast there was a loading time split so like this, okay this check this area. out did they turn did they get rid of the transparencies there uh faking volumetric lighting from the uh front of the uh, the train cab. Oh, oh no, they're they're here. Oh, they're Look, just very. They're just, ah. they're just really like weird looking. Yeah, they're different dim. looking than on the PC, and they're obviously so, they're so sorted they're still, wrong on the PC as well too. They're they're there, just different. Okay. So like honestly though, like if you think about it, if if this game was around designed around the PS2, I think it could honestly run quite a bit better than this. Um, I know it yeah, is just a port. I think but, like, PS2 they, could totally yeah. pull graphics. Like, just look at MGS2 in comparison to this game. <laughs> like, yeah. not even a Many others. <laughs> and many other games. Like, 
So like here's where still, you still it's not it's not the worst port. No, it's not. I mean Quake Three Arena, which is Quake Three Engine, is a sixty FPS game on PS2. That's quite a bit better. Which is pretty this. cool. And you know Okay, so yeah, like here you can't see the dude down there. Which is the way it should uh, be yet. So you go down here and and then the stuff starts to happen. So dark. So the way the trains pop in and out of the fog though is a little bit weird. They can just pop up. Okay, see, on PC, so it seems to, like, that. move along their axis. Okay. Just... All right, so finish that level. Let's see how this goes then. So, obviously, the next cutscene and then the train are separate loading screens because they are on PC as well. Mm -hmm. So that makes perfect sense. Well done, John Mullins. Can we talk about the voice acting? <laughs> I mean, it's phenomenal. <laughs> Richard. Le <laughs> okay, we got this awesome loading screen again. So for mine, it's still... Wow, okay. Like the PS2 of... already loaded. That's fast. That is mad fast, actually. Okay, now we can kind of compare a little bit here. Again. Um, they're, they're doing the same kinds of stuff. Is, it, is the HUD in yours filtered or not? I think it's filtered, yeah. So it isn't filtered on mine, interestingly. It didn't Weird. look filtered, at least just now. It's really interesting seeing this without mid maps. I actually, I, like I was saying earlier, I, from most of the angles, it works, I think yeah. it works pretty well. Actually, I kind of don't. I don't love like like some of the bilinear and trilinear that much, to be honest. Like it just kind of blurs out the ground mm -hmm. in a way that's not great. No. Uh, so they don't have. They're not doing the weird uh, fake specular on the ground there. Yeah. Which is actually probably not a bad thing because it, it looks, looks really <laughs> awkward. It doesn't look very right on the PC side. <laughs> I mean, they were just, you know, this is the time before they really had any of that kind of real tech going on. So it's just completely by, by eye and absolute BS usually. This is really, so this does kind of remind me of the Half-Life Dreamcast versus PS2 port thing as well. Mm -hmm. Where Dreamcast version was much, much slower with much longer loading. Uh, okay, so the. Okay, so they actually loaded at a reasonably comparable time. Look at that. PC, end, yeah. PC was a little bit faster, but it's like ballpark. It's super. So it's not offensive. Let's see. I want to see these clouds if they're actually like. I won't move when we start so that we're lined up perfectly. Yeah, just. I mean, I think it looks pretty comparable. Just like the mipping, the so mip far, map yeah. difference is actually like one of the largest visual it's things. The main thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, the helicopter glitch was incredible. Here we go. Here That's John me. Mullins. You might be wondering how I got here. <laughs> Does he look like Soap McTavish from the... A little bit, yeah. <laughs> so yours always reminds you to save the game. That's interesting. Yeah. PC um, just goes back to the main level, and you have to constantly be quick saving. Okay, so what do we got here? Uh, well... I honestly want to say your sky looks better than mine at 16 bit. Uh, I don't know yeah. if that's just art differences or what exactly. They look very similar art wise. The moon's in the same. Oh, the moon though. That's pretty bad. Oh, so yeah. Mine. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> look at your moon. That is a horrible moon. <laughs> what do they, what do they do? What are they, what, but like, it's not that high res. Is it? I guess they just no. really decrease the sky box. But the rest of the clouds look pretty comparable, so in the actual like cloud layer that's moving looks fine. I think I honestly like the way the PS2 looks a little bit better than the 16-bit PC version right here. Like yeah. 32 okay, so will definitely look different. Let's go through here a little bit. Oh, for sure. Let's go. Bring it on. So I really haven't played much of this port at all. I just found it many, many years ago for dirt cheap, and I, I kind of kept it in my back pocket for just such an occasion. Just because the Dreamcast version was so legendary for being one of the worst, it's probably the worst PC to Dreamcast port on it's, that system. It's pretty horrible, far. dude. Like honestly, it's, those it's loading so times bad. are. I would never play that game. Like I don't think it's. I, I don't think it should have actually been released like that. I think it's. It's not fair to customers. <laughs> no, and like I'm saying, not that, that stuff would not fly. It's like the worst of the Switch ports kind of stuff. Um, yeah. I love the ability. But, like, even, like, Ark Survival Evolve, which takes, like, a year to load on Switch, like, once you're in the game, it doesn't do that, you know? Mm -hmm. But here, it's, like, loading every couple minutes. 
Oh, our good friend the helicopter's back. I can't wait. Can't wait. Is he gonna glitch out again? The amount of screaming that you hear in this game constantly. I know, it's just it's a d raining death all over the place. Do you know if they, did they port these, uh, the second game to PS2? No, okay. that kind of came to Xbox, Ooh, which I have. That would be a fun so one. So maybe to check out. maybe we'll do if if anybody watching this wants a follow up where we do Xbox versus PC. Let us know because we can totally make that happen. Oh yeah, and you know that one we could use a little bit bigger PC for that one. Be nice. Yeah. Also, the movement around this top of the train here is much better on this version because on Dreamcast it was very tricky. Jittery and stuff. Yeah. So I'm shooting at this helicopter. But, so like that's what like I like the shooting of the enemies, uh, but like shooting the helicopter doesn't feel like anything. It no, feels so it weirdly floaty in comparison. Oh no. And that's he knocked me off. I mean it's purposeful though. Like I'm just yeah. I'm supposed to shoot the helicopter, right? Let's try and beat this level. Oh dang it. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, I, I, oh no! I, I didn't, I, I didn't save correctly. Oh no! It's okay, John. I also died. Um. Well, Alex, I feel like that's a good spot to end this for now. It has answered my curiosity. <laughs> yeah, um, it's pretty good. The PS2 version is a lot better than I actually kind of expected or knew. Mm -hmm. Like it's not like PC version. I'd still say is the way to go, of course. For but sure. Like, yeah. For the time, I feel like if you were a console player and you wanted to play Soldier of Fortune, you could do a lot worse than, than the PS2 version. And I really want to try it with mouse and keyboard because that's a great feature to have. Yeah, I totally do give it a try. I would say for the PC version, uh, if you do want to play it today, there are some patches online which uh, ease the compatibility of this game for modern Windows. Uh, also adding in things like widescreen support. That, uh, that's really nice and fixing some bugs. Uh, but playing it back on an old retro PC, I love the CRT and how it worked out here for me. But the one issue is I think I would rather play this on a, a, a beastlier uh, pe uh, Pentium, like a later Pentium 4 or something like that because the Pentium 3 was just laggy laggy city in this while I was playing by the way you see all these multiplayer maps here there's a lot yeah. and um oh, the, wait the Raven offices and you can do so it does four player split screen with bots and one of the levels is Raven the HQ so I'm curious to see what this what, what this is so they actually have bot matches this is using WAN, by the way, W-O-N network. Oh, I remember um, that, yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> if anyone remembers that. The WAN network. The WAN network. Amazing. Wow. All right. I Yeah, I definitely, in the end, I feel like the Dreamcast version should not have been released. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's it was just a, it's a bad port, but there's other good ports to Dreamcast that we might have to talk about in the future. Um specifically kiss psycho circus oh i'm down for that i'm the so nightmare bad. child it's lith tech it's pretty good on dreamcast i gotta say um but yeah so all right well that's gonna do it for this video so uh i hope you guys enjoyed this random playthrough of soldier of fortune and <laughs> all of our oh the bots are crazy in this look at that <laughs> see like there doesn't appear to be bots in the pc version to my knowledge by default uh, because you have to like log into some BS WAN network crap to even start. It sucks. Yeah. Well, if you watch this video though, you already are a WANner. So <laughs> everyone's a WANner here. But until next time, this is John and Alex signing off and saying, Auf Wiedersehen.